Unfortunately, there's been a huge increase in the number of individuals in the United States with eating disorders, especially since COVID started. What we're seeing is more and more individuals coming in with eating disorders, seeking treatment, so much so that many treatment facilities across the United States are on really long wait lists. What we're learning as practitioners is a lot of this is stemming from what people are learning on social media. So the Wall Street Journal actually investigated this and how they investigated it is through TikTok. And what they did is create some TikTok accounts as a 13 year old to see what they were given on their algorithm. And as they were scrolling through the For You page, what they got is a bunch of weight loss content. Just in a three month period, these 13 year old accounts were given over 32 thousand videos pertaining to weight loss. Many of these videos were given to them without searching for that kind of content. It's just what popped up for them. And what they found is one third of those weight loss videos were talking about eating disorders. Now, not all of it was bad. Some of it was recovery accounts or just eating disorder information. But of the eating disorder videos, 40% of them were promoting eating disorders and their behaviors. Some of these 13 year old accounts were even given an invitation to a competition to try to lose as much weight as possible within just a few weeks. What these bots or these 13 year old accounts sort of learned via this Wall Street Journal investigation is that the app was feeding them eating disorder content, essentially teaching them how to have an eating disorder and how to starve yourself. We're seeing this more and more, like I mentioned, as providers in the eating disorder community. People learning things that they see on TikTok and on Instagram, and people who already have eating disorders finding a lot of that information to trigger that competitive nature of an eating disorder. So they're starting to eat less or abuse laxatives or whatever it is that they're seeing in these videos. So if you're someone who you're finding these things popping up on your For You page or on Instagram or wherever it might be, I challenge you to hit not interested or just keep scrolling. Don't engage with it at all, right? You want to do that so that hopefully you can shift it so that those videos stop coming up for you and stop being something that's promoting those disordered thoughts and behaviors. If you do that and those videos are still popping up, I really challenge you to try to take a break from social media. Sometimes it's not helpful. And sometimes even when you try to get yourself out of that weight loss eating disorder part of TikTok and Instagram, you find yourself still getting those videos and that's not helpful. It's okay to take a step back if it's going to help you get to recovery, but don't fall into this trap of getting sucked into those videos down a rabbit hole challenging you to basically have an eating disorder. It's worth it to take a step away. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.